Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the GVM SD200D Bicolor Video Spotlight. Now, this is a 200 watt light, again, bicolor, 3200 to 5600K, and it retails for roughly $320. Currently out of stock pretty much everywhere, and from what I've seen online, um, what you will end up ordering likely won't get this, I'm going to call it pre-production unit that I got from GVM for review. So again, there will be a link in the description uh, to the product when I can provide you with one where you can actually purchase it. But right now, I know it's not available on Amazon, not in stock at B&H, um, possibly directly through GVM, you can get it. Um, and essentially, this is a revamp of yet another light, uh, GVM continuing to basically take their entire lineup, make it compatible with the new Bluetooth app, and this is no exception. And it's also a complete redesign. So we'll see how quiet it is. Um, we'll see what light production is like on it. Um, and the first thing you'll notice, I did pop this open, is that, and this is why I say pre-production, this is the first GVM light I've ever gotten that did not come with a case. Um, everything they have ever sent me, literally, from the smallest to the largest setup, always comes with a travel case, and for obvious reason. Uh, how on earth are you going to take this to a shoot or relocate it like this? You're just not going to. So, disregard the packaging. Um, I, I have not reached out to them yet to ask them about a bag, but I'm sure they're going to send one my way because in its current form, I can set this up and test it out, but it's not going anywhere. So, uh, again, total redesign. This light doesn't even look like the majority of the competition because of that redesign. I actually think it looks pretty cool, um, but we'll see how it works. That's more important. Uh, but you know, you're going to want to get a soft box for this uh, to diffuse this thing properly. It does come. It has a Bowens mount, of course. It comes with this little cap, which you can use. Not too uncommon, but you know, in terms of uh, using this at a higher intensity. I'm not sure how well this will fare. I'm going to try it out, that's for sure. But I really do like this redesign. As odd as the light looks with almost like this leather grain texture on the side, the GVM branding on the handle. It looks like metal, but it's plastic. The yoke, of course, is metal. Um, and there is some metal, I believe, in this construction. The, the grill where we have the cooling, the ventilation is metal. You can see the screws there, but the back is plastic. Um, some metal up front by the COB. Um, I believe it's a COB, unless it's an LED array. And um, yeah, it's it's a nice looking light. I have to say, you know, they did a nice job on design, completely different than days past. Um, you know, I, I have the 150D that I use in the studio. Of course, it's no longer compatible with their new app, which I wish there was a way to make it backwards compatible. Those are Wi-Fi based lights, not Bluetooth. Um, of course, we've got this hood here. Um, and, you know, you can use this, but as I stated, you're going to want to put a soft box on this light. There's really no other way to go about using it, in my opinion. Um, how are you going to diffuse this thing? And I anticipate it's going to be fairly bright. So let's get the power brick out. Let me light it up. Uh, I'm not going to be mounting this and putting a soft box on it in this video. And again, it's just a, a bit of a miss here with the, the packaging. I, I, I was still in shock when I cracked this thing open. I did so assuming that we were going to have a carry case. You know, I used to unbox these from the brown box that you see before you. And I stopped because it was a waste of time. Let's just get straight into the carry case. And this was the first light, again, to my... Uh, amazement that we did not have an actual carry case. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get this whole thing out of the way. Take that. Let's move the physical brown cardboard box out and bring the light back. And let's see what we're working with here. I mean, it's a nice looking light. Do I think it will replace what I'm presently using? I mean, if this were the RGB version, um, then yeah, it might. But then again, the fact that now I'm working with their new generation app the and, and all Bluetooth lights, it has made me look at the 150D and 
you know, I'm a little sad because it's kind of trying to put it to bed. But we have to see how loud this gets. I've already got a, uh, a more powerful light than this um, in-house in the studio, but uh, it is not um, GVM, so it cannot communicate seamlessly. And that's part of the beauty of these GVM lights is that communication and obviously once you're invested in a system you want everything to communicate seamlessly you're not looking to have you know a mishmash of lights that that don't know how to communicate so let's go ahead and get this plugged in I like that they switched their power supply and plug to something substantial with a locking mechanism that's already a good sign uh, it means we're not going to have easy disconnection um, the yoke seems like it's pretty solid, too, in terms of tightening up, holding position. Seems like it. Um, and let's go ahead and plug this in now. This has got a little more play than I care for, I have to say, so I'm going to remove it. But it is a standard Bowens mount, so you're not going to have any issue using something else with it, which is good. And get ready for the light show, folks. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Again, I I'm just in shock that we do not have <laughs> an actual you know, as usual, a carry case. But um, again, from what I have seen, it looks like this is pre-production. And if you were in the first wave, if you reach out to support, I'm pretty sure they're gonna furnish you with something because they know this was an error. It is, it's very obvious. So, powered on. Gonna have to give us a little more slack than we presently have. We're gonna see how hot this gets how loud the fan is. I'm not expecting any issue with light production. I mean, it's just a bit of a monster. Um, you know, 200 watt light. So right now we're at 5200K. You can see the LCD readout. It's all the same settings that you have with GVM's current lineup of apps. I, I mean, excuse me, lights, rotate, slave, master and then app control. Um, and essentially, dial that up, take that all the way up to 100%, incredibly bright, very, very bright. Dial it down and, you know, we're at 1% right now. And it really does look like a true 1%, two, three, four, doing it in single step increments here we're at 16 40 i mean it's just getting brighter and brighter i mean it's totally blown out but this is pretty impressive um i would say playing with color temp now getting this up to 5600k which is what i use in the studio we want to make it warmer, we can certainly do that, down to 3200. I like the light. I mean, it, it seems nice. Uh, take a listen to the fan noise. It's audible, but quiet enough that it's not going to be picked up, I think, under general circumstances. So that's certainly good. I got a little blinded there, didn't I? Um, it's a nice light. I think they did a nice job with this. Um, I'm going to have to spend some more time with it, obviously. And you know, see how it fits into my setup, but definitely a nice light. It's not too loud. Um, I have a soft box waiting for it, so that's not an issue. I just wish it was RGB, wish it had a carry case. Um, those are things that can't fix the RGB part, although I imagine they are going to launch a new RGB version of the 150D. Um, but yeah, it's, it's lightweight, solid. I like the power connector. Um, the fact that it actually locks in is a, a big plus. So yeah, I think they think they have an interesting product here uh, with the SD200D. I have to, of course, use it a little bit more than just taking it out of the packaging, which I'm gonna do, and then report back to all of you about whether or not I think it's a worthwhile uh, purchase at its given price point, which I think is reasonable. I mean, I think $320, and it'll probably be less as it goes on sale, uh, is fairly solid and again I think it, it looks its part although it is definitely um, different uh, than uh, what I've seen in the past from GVM and pretty much every other manufacturer but um, interesting and so it isn't a COB it is I guess a series of uh, LEDs in there 
Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.